people! This is Fisher12, and we have another exciting episode of the Black Ops Show for you guys today, as always. And today, I want to discuss a new leak that recently came out, revealing every single gumball and gumball ability in Shadows of Evil. Now, I know spoilers are a pretty controversial thing around zombies, so if you don't want to watch this video, uh, feel free to click off of it. I won't be offended, it won't bother me. But let's talk about some gumballs. A Reddit user by the name of WASQ, WASQ, W-A-S-Q, uh, he posted a listing of every gumball and ability in Dr. Munty's gumball machine. Now, instantly upon seeing this list, I was extremely skeptical for a number of reasons. It was just a list with the abilities, no evidence. So I reached out to this guy, and he sent me screenshots of the actual game code. Eight pages of game code confirming every single one of these abilities. I saw it for myself. Now, I'm not going to show those screenshots in this video, but if you were to, say, perhaps take an exploration through the expandable section immediately under this video player, you might find a link of related importance there. But that's all I'm going to say on it. Now, something I do want to note, though, before getting into this list is that some of these abilities are user-activated, and some of them just have a standing duration like three rounds or something. But I'm going to point those out when they come up. So let's get right on into the list. First up is Aftertaste. Don't lose any perks when down, but still need to be revived. This happens immediately and lasts for three rounds. Alchemical Antithesis. Every 10 points that would have been earned is instead one ammo in the stock of the current weapon. This is immediate and lasts for 30 seconds. Always done swiftly. Walk faster while in ADS. Go in and out of ADS faster. This is immediate, lasts three rounds. Danger Closest. Zero explosive damage, immediate, lasts three rounds. Dead of Nuclear Winner, spawns a nuke power-up, player activated. Emperor Enhancement, turns current weapons into pack-a-punch weapons. This is player activated, lasts 30 seconds. Firing on all cylinders, fire while sprinting, immediate, lasts three rounds. Immolation Liquidation, spawns a fire sale power-up, player activated. Impatient, respawn when the last zombie of the round spawns instead of at the start of the next round and this is immediate it lasts until you bleed out i'm feeling lucky spawn a random power up player activated in plain sight 10 seconds of ignored by zombies player activated killing time all zombies freeze in place for 20 seconds if they are shot and marked they will be annihilated when time is up player activated killjoy spawn an insta kill power up player activated license contractor spawn a carpenter power up player activated this next one is a little... It, it's hard to make out what it's actually going to do. It's called Lucky Crit, and it just says additional rolls against the percentage chance on the player's AAT. Now, I reached out to this guy, and he didn't see anything in the game code that connected AAT to zombies. And Fine Nerds, who has also been known to produce a bunch of leaks, I think he released the uh, the ninth Specialist leak, revealing that was a Flamethrower guy. He also said that there wasn't anything in the game code that said AAT. So we kind of have this mystery of what Lucky Crit will actually do. But moving right along, next is Now You See Me. 10 seconds of all zombies targeting the player. This is player activated. One for the road, can buy perks past the normal limit of four, so it gives the player one extra perk slot. This is immediate, lasts 10 minutes. On the house, spawn a free perk power-up, player activated. Perkaholic, give all perks in the map, immediate, lasts until you're down. Phoenix up, revive everyone and keep all perks, player activated. Pop shocks, melee attack does electric arc damage to nearby zombies similar to the DG2. This happens for your next five melee attacks. Private eyes. An icon similar to the grenade icon shows up on any zombie within 10 feet so they can't sneak up on you. Immediate, lasts two rounds. Respin cycle. Make the magic box respin into a new weapon choice. Player activated. Stock option. Do not need to reload weapon. Ammo is pulled from the stock before the clip. Immediate, lasts five rounds. Sword flay. Five times multiplier on melee damage. Immediate, lasts two and a half minutes. Wall power. Next primary wall by weapon purchase provides the weapon pack-a-punched lasts until the next primary weapon wall buy is purchased. And lastly, we have Who's Keeping Score, spawn a double points power up, player activated. So those are all the gumballs and their abilities. There's definitely a lot there. Still, some of them are a little unclear without game context, like I talked about Lucky Crit earlier ago. But there's, there's a lot of gumballs here, and I think this is really going to increase the replay value of Shadows of Evil, especially if this is just such a big map, and then you have these, you know, 20-something gumballs that you can go through. Shadows of Evil is really shaping up to be a completely new and redefined zombies experience. 
But I'm really curious to hear what your guys' thoughts are on the gumballs. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Which one is your favorite? Which one is your least favorite? Which one has you concerned? Which one do you think is absolutely awful and needs to be refixed? Let me know in the comments down below. But that will unfortunately bring us to the end of today's video. So if you enjoyed it and found it helpful, make sure to give it a like and share it on your favorite social media. And if you're new to the channel, I would love to have you subscribe. I have some amazing Black Ops League content coming in the very near, near future. But other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and take care.